Hey everybody, so what we're doing here is I'm sure you've seen the brine trucks on the road and we're actually making one here uh, with actually a little bit of math involved uh, despite some of the other videos I've seen on YouTube. They're kind of guessing and unfortunately I don't like to do that. So let me give you a quick look around and I'll show you what I have. It's super easy. A couple parts you can swap things in and out and uh, you can set your own brine up. This way you don't have to shovel or make your shoveling a lot less. So let me show you. So we have our bags of salt. I'll show you all the calculations in a minute. Uh, we've got a good price on the 10 kgs right now. I have a hose. A uh, good recommendation is to get a rubber hose instead of a polymer or a plastic hose. I have a drum. This is a 55 gallon drum. I've done this in plastic drums before. And I have a sump pump in the bottom sitting in a couple bricks for, don't mind my recycle, been there having a little pee every once in a while. So I have the sump pump sitting on bricks uh, just so it doesn't pick up any small granulars that fall through. And then I have a recycle bin on the top. I drilled uh, quite a few holes in the bottom. I got screen mesh from uh, Home Depot. This is for windows. This way it keeps all of the smaller granules in the top until they dissolve. And this is just a PVC. I just 3D printed. You don't have to do this. If I pull these out, uh, they're capped on the end and just kind of comes down to a on off and a little valve and let me pull this out on the bottom I've just got a couple holes drilled I think I have six per side so what I did come over to the handy bench here uh, you see some calculations the salt consistency has or percent has to be at 23.3% by weight in the water. So for a 40 kg bag at 23.3% salinity, it's 131.7 liters or 34.8 rough gallons. So that's a 55 gallon uh, drum. If you do the measurements on that, uh, here's some measurements up here. So it's 1.61764 per inch. So what I did is to say, okay, I need um, for 40 kgs, I need 34.8 gallons. Volume, mathematics, means I need 21 inches in here, just so I can rough guess. And that's this line here. So when I pour the four bags in the top, I can kind of look in the side as I'm filling it up with a hose and to know where I'm at. <clears throat> now the cool part about this is you don't have to have this in the garage. You can do this outside. Um, once you mix the salt in the water, uh, it's not going to freeze, right? I think it goes down to minus 20. Kind of. Anyways, the purpose of this you know when you throw rock salt on your driveway, you have to wait for the snow or the moisture to hit the rock salt to turn it into brine. And that, that process takes quite a while. So what I'm doing here is I'm converting this into brine already and I apply this to the driveway three to four days before it snows. So this means you can do this, there's a disclaimer there, you can do this on a nicer day before the snow falls. Hey, it's going to snow in two days. Let me get out there while it's nice and put a little spray pattern down on the, on the ground. Now, some of them are saying there's all kinds of numbers out there. Uh, we're doing it at home. We're not doing it for the government. We're not doing it for a city where there's liability and stuff like that. So I just make some swipes down left and right. Sometimes I go down with it and across sometimes like, ah, it's it's all over the place but I put a good bunch of strips going down and uh, and I'm happy the disclaimer about this is 
if it rains prior to the snowfall, a significant amount of rain, it's washing all that away. So now you have to reapply it post uh, snowfall. Now, typically they say three inches. Three inches, yeah. Three inches of snowfall, it's going to burn if your math is correct on the 23.3%. If you're a little bit higher, you're a little bit lower. Hey, size doesn't always matter. So sometimes it may burn a little more, sometimes it'll burn a little less. Average is three inches of snowfall. But the cool part about this is, yes, if you get four inches, five inches, six inches, okay, you're gonna have to shovel. Okay, this is not God's magic on getting rid of snow off of your driveway. But the cool part, if you do apply this before a snowfall and it snows more than three inches, you now have a uh, layer of slush underneath any additional snow that's going to come down that you were not able to burn. Burn, melt, burn. So... If the following day you go out and it snowed five inches, six inches, and you got to push three inches off, you're not having to scrape it off of your concrete driveway because it has that slush layer and it and it just it slides, it slides off so beautiful, so it's nice. It, it saves your back, it saves your your heart attacks, it, it saves those. It, uh, okay, I'm not a doctor. I, I think people can get heart attacks anytime, even sitting on the couch. So let's take that back. But it, but it saves a lot of stress. Now, what I do really like about this thing is I can do it when it's nice out. I don't have to worry about it. It's like today. It snowed. It was burning all the snow off. It was, it's beautiful. The driveway's clear. Now, if you're thinking, hey, that's a lot of salt to put on your driveway. Listen, I, I used to take rock salt from the bag and fling it all over the driveway because I, I can't stand shoveling. That's concentrated 70, what's the math on that? 70 something percent more. So if I'm diluting this down to 23.3%, yeah, so that you can take that question out of it. But I'm going to try and set the camera up. I, I'm not a vlogger like you're used to watching um this is off of a phone so just bear with me you're i'm trying to get the point across here so i'm going to set this up i'm going to turn the water on and what i do kind of the way it happens is i'll put the salt in the top and then i'll turn the hose on and i'll wash it in and some of that dilutes right away and and i'll watch my water on the side and when that water comes up to here turn the water off. Now I turn the sump pump on. The sump pump will suck it from the bottom, recirculate it into the top through that little hose wand, spray it down over top of the salt. That's why we have the screen in there. And it, it, it'll keep uh, doing this process until you see all the salt as pretty much diluted into the water. Then I shut it off. If it's outside, it can stay outside. It's not gonna freeze. If it's in your garage, hey, so be it. It's in your garage, it's ready to go. But before you apply it onto the driveway, turn the pump on, let it recirculate for two, three minutes, and then you're good to go. So I wanna show you the process, kinda of how I do it. And uh, I don't know if you're still watching, but I hope you're enjoying so far. So we're mixing up a 40 kg mix. You can buy yourself a uh, salt hydrometer. And then you can take a sample of the water and it will kind of bob up and down like a um, uh, like when you're testing alcohol and stuff like that and it'll it'll tell you when you're at your 
23.3%. So now, let's get the hose. All right, water's going in. Let's start in, kind of wash this in a little bit. It dissolves quick, I'm not gonna lie. kind of, oh yes, I got studio lighting now, maybe, I don't know, you can see it kind of, so on the one, on the right side I have one, two, three, four, five, and then on the left I have one, two, three, four, five, so that's going to just keep diluting down, and once this is all done, then I shut it off. Then it's ready to go for the next snowfall. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I don't think you really need to see me put it on the driveway, but there it is going away. Um, if you have any comments or questions, put them in. Put them below. Um, I'm sure somebody will answer them. I'll try. Uh, don't put too many math questions or I'll give you the formula for what I used. And I'll, I will also give you a link to a calculator um, that tells you exactly how many liters and how much salt or, sorry, tells you how many liters of water to what salt you have. And it could also tell you how much salt you need to what water you have. I prefer to go putting my salt in there because I have the five gallon Home Depot jugs and what I can do is I can say okay get the size of my drum and figure out how much water it can hold and put a recycle bin in the top and see how high you can come. Make a mark so do a little work don't just put a number on and expect it to work. So figure out how much water you can actually put in your drum. And then you can use that to either give you a uh, calculation for using 10, 20, 30, 40, so on and so forth. Um, a lot of guys use the big IBS totes. And they'll put one tote on the ground. Then they'll put another tote uh, five to six pallets higher with uh, big elephant trunks that fly off. They'll fill the first container, or the higher one, with all the salt, and then they just keep pumping uh, the water into the lower one, and they keep testing the bottom one. Um, that's a little bit more professional. Um, it requires a lot more room, and not really know-how, it's the same thing. You're just melting salt. But I want something small, and you're watching this because you want something small for your driveway. So that's uh, that's what that is right there. It's a garbage bin. Hey, everybody's got your garbage bins around their house. So utilize the one for the winter. Save yourself some back aches. And um, we won't mention the disclaimer about the heart attacks again. But just a side note. Safety salt is what I use. Um, 10 kg bags. Got them on sale, I think, today. I think they were $3 a bag. So if you think about it, this drum here, which I put four bags into, right? 
12 bucks. That should get me probably 15 applications. Now you do the math. If you have a snowblower, how much gas are you going to burn in your snowblower? You have to go get gas, you have to store gas, you have to put gas in your snowblower, get it out, put it back, time, and you're working in the elements. You're, you're usually working when it's snowing. This way, I'm having coffee sitting in the chair looking out the front window of everybody else shoveling their snow. Anyways, if you're into aviation, on a side note, or you like pilot stuff and planes, uh, or you know somebody that likes planes and is into aviation, or you think it'd be a really cool gift, I got a shop. It's F over P, form over performance dot com. So it's F O V E R P dot com. And up in the top right, there's a link. Or you just want to go fovp.com slash shop. Um, get some cool stuff in there. Mugs, hats, t-shirts, sweat, no, hoodie, hoodies, hoodies, uh, women's shirt. And some really cool stuff in there. So anyways, if you're into aviation, know someone into aviation, uh, go ahead and check it out. I appreciate it. Have a good one. See ya.